What's up guys, so in this video we're going to show you how to install uh, the libraries that come with Celebration Essentials 3.0 and where to place the folders at. So once you finish the download from the website, you're going to get a folder that looks something like this. The first folder you're going to see is going to be the CE 3.0 concert patches. So if you click on that, you're going to have two folders in here, the .cst and the .patches. So I'm going to show you where to install those folders so go up here to the finder window and click down on this go menu bar and you're going to go to computer from here select your hard drive go to users click on the user and then once you're in music click on audio music apps from here you're going to go to the channel strip settings and click on instrument one more time on performance and open up your folder again and the CSTs these ones are gonna go in this folder right here I already have the one that says uh, CE Celebration Essentials 3.0 it's gonna be the same as this one so once you put it in here then you can go ahead and uh, rename it uh, I'm just I'm not gonna do it because I already have it there but as you can see I'm gonna open this folder here and it has the exact same folders and patches from that template so that's one way to do that now you have to put the that patch uh, folder in a different location so you're gonna go back to music for music you go back to the audio music apps now right here in this section you're gonna have to go to the patches so click on patches from the patches go to instrument and where the instruments are at this is where uh, you want to save your your those settings so right here I already have those set there CE 3.0 patches and it's the same folder as this one so all you have to do is click and then drag it and drop it into that folder and that will be there so when you open up main stage this is what's gonna happen so now what we just did was install all of these patches into your patch library so even if for any reason you were to delete any of these they're still in your computer so here we go let me just show you how to find them and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new uh, patch from here you're gonna go to user patches from user patches you're gonna go to the instrument folder and right here is gonna be the section where you have all of those patches so as you can see right here there's the celebration essentials 3.0 patches so all the patches they're gonna be right here and this, these are actually folders so as you click on the folder you're gonna see the patches right there so all your base patches the C celebration is 3.0 that is that's gonna be this one here the first one you have there uh, and then the trigger the core trigger patches and there is a few extra that you don't see here when you bring down the screen you're only going to see six chord trigger patches in the key of c uh, but in reality in the folder there's a few extras there's a few in the key of d key of e and key of f you get a few you get a few more there as a bonus uh, and then your delay pianos the more your multis which are these ones here at the bottom so all of your patches are going to be here uh, for the CSTs, those are the ones uh, you can pull up from channel strips. So if you were to delete, let me select this one here. If you were to delete uh, one of these right here, the CE ARP6 for any reason, uh, as you can see on this middle uh, inspector window, it came out. So this 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 ones are going to be there. So let's go ahead and create one blank uh, instrument channel strip setting and from here you're gonna go to user channel strip settings performance and find the one that says celebration essentials 3.0 patch or whatever you named it from there all right these are all the patches right there so you can easily pull them back out if you need it to uh, to bring them out in case you erased uh, some of these folders right here. So we also have a PDF file here on the website uh, That has the same instructions the same installation guides. So the one that says uh, the nano control 2 installation guide 
I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna download a file and that file it's gonna have installation guides on how to do the nano control two lights and at the bottom is gonna have uh, step by step how to do the folders what we just went over so there it is guys if you have any questions y'all can always go to the website and uh, send us an email through there or just go to product at creativeworshipsounds.com send us an email and we will reply it as soon as we can thank you and have a great day